Alright. Okie dokie. Welcome to our podcast, The Gray Area, where I wear a snowman shirt with no regrets, and also where we talk about somewhat recent news. Hopefully, uh, I won't get reported to HR. That would suck. I just don't want to get... I mean, human resources, they're, they're the real stuff. Anyway, we might talk about something serious. We might not. In this case, we're going to be talking about something somewhat serious and something more lighthearted near the end to make you feel... Hello? Miguel, this, this is a... Uh... Say what now? You cut off for a second. Oh, okay. Well, I'm Sean. You already know me. This is Miguel. Somewhere. Yeah. Hello, Miguel. <laughs> the first thing that we're going to show is... Ha it happened somewhat recently, uh, February 13th, so we're not too late about it. Um, suicide bomber kills 13 in protests in Lahore, Pakistan. Miguel, you want to start us off on it? Yep. So, in Pakistan, 13 people were killed, including six police officers by a suicide bomber that was an offshoot of the Taliban. Now, just like anything else, all of these terrorist groups have different sects, and either are they claim to be one of the bigger ones or they are influenced by them, but at the end of the day, there's still a bunch of people who claim to be religious, but give a bad name to all the people who are truly religious in whatever faith that truly really is. That's what extremism is in every sense of the word. Now, Absolutely. Yeah, because at the end of the day, you know, if you aren't ignorant and know what you're talking about, true religion isn't death, it's not killing people, no religion is like that, you know, but there's always the media twisting anything or there's always people that just don't know what they're talking about and that's where these these groups like this get their power and that's where groups like this will continue to get their power if people are ignorant and don't know what they're talking about so this is going to continue to happen unfortunately because people are just you know it's fueled by all of this this hate you know all of this is filled by hate so uh, i mean happen go ahead Oh, on the website, there's even a video if you want to go watch it. We'll put the link down below. And <clears throat> it's it's crazy. I mean, just seeing it happen in front of your eyes, I'm sure it's even more crazy. But just watching it on camera, it's too much. Yeah, it's, it's, it's surreal. You know. And we're getting our sources from the New York Times... Um, obviously, because they're the le like least biased, in my opinion. Um, there's also biased, th liberal or you know, or conservative. Either way, they're the least biased, most in between those two. Yes, and there's also they did a story on it on BBC, uh, CNN, and everything. We're not going to talk about the faction itself because honestly, nobody really wants to hear about the faction because. It's just wrong, and you just need to know that it's killing people, and people being killed, that's absolutely wrong. Yeah, it's not, that's, it's misrepresenting an entire religion, because it's, it's making people think that all Muslims are bad, when in actuality that's not the case at all. You know, it's, it's, it sucks, so. I mean, I even saw a story, I've seen it, it was a Muslim kid who helped out a police officer, and they he helped out a police officer that caught a criminal. And it's it was like one of those feel-good stories, like, oh, yeah, there's still good people out in the world. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's not... It, being Muslim, being Christian, being <laughs> Buddhist, that doesn't matter. As long as you're a decent human being, it doesn't, you know... That's all Absolutely. It is. You know, whatever religion you, you claim... I mean, it killed... It killed, uh, cops... Cops in that area. You know, this explosion did, yeah. Not only people, but actual people protecting the citizens. Yeah. And the fact is that people died in the first place. You know, that people are trying to make this a political issue when, in actuality, it's just it's just a people issue. You know, this is happening, and this, you know, 
that people are trying to be political because they want to solve it in different ways. You know, mm-hmm. Some people want to be, you know, grouping everybody in a whole entire category and be yeah. aggressive, and some people just don't want to do a whole lot at all. You know, either way, there is a middle ground that needs to be hit, and it's not happening anytime soon because we're so divided as a people. Mm-hmm. Um, speaking of, since I brought up cops... And, and, and the cops are in the story. <clears throat> Let's transition over to something better, something that will lighten up the mood. Uh, I went on the Huffington Post and found some pretty nice stories of cops. And there was this really cute one. It's the best thing I've ever seen. Uh, toddler gets pulled over by cop and loves every minute of it. And... It's just one of those like stories where you're like, oh my god, this is amazing. I love it. And this police officer, Bill May- Mayo, pulled over Jackson Arbuckle last week. And I think this wasn't a recent story. Like This is like something like a year or two ago. But since it's kind of tying in in terms of just to make you feel better and stuff, and talking, giving a good image to cops, in right. my opinion, it still works. Um, Bill Mayo pulled over Jackson Arbuckle last week. It wasn't a, it wasn't exactly the end of a hot pursuit. Um, Jackson, a two year old who lives in L- Louisville, Kentucky, had been playing in his toy car when his mom Ashley Crawford decided to call in the cops, hailing an officer from nearby from a nearby fender bender for a photo op. And Crawford goes on to say. I thought, how cute would it be if I got a picture of Jackson pulled over? I waited for the officer to finish up with his incident report and asked him if he wouldn't mind turning the lights on and pulling Jackson over. And sure enough, Jackson... (laughs) um, He pulled his uh, red little Tykes car over by the side of the road. Um, And they even have pictures of it, and it's the best thing ever. You can see the cop... It, with its lights on flashing and Jackson he's on like the side with his little red car I don't know if you're on the site right now but yeah it's, I'm showing the picture right now it's great and um despite having no license registration or working lights um Jackson had a great time yeah I thought this was awesome too yeah cause it, it gives cops a good image cause not all cops are bad cops they're they're people too and I don't think a lot of people realize that they, uh, they're, they're, they're protectors. I mean, yeah, that goes with every, that goes with every group. Now there are bad ones and there are good ones, but that's with every group of people on this planet. There's always going to be that select group of bad people. And unfortunately, because it's more money to hear about the bad stuff happening than stuff like this, you know, cause it's not going to make front page news on CNN or Fox or anything like that because it's not as much money. The ratings don't go up when something like this happens. The rating goes up when tragedies happen. So, unfortunately, because a lot of tragedies have been happening lately in the past, you know, two years, three years, well, really, it's been a lot longer than that, but especially tensions have been getting really, 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 like, high, especially putting in race as a factor that Mm -hmm. police are, a lot of police are getting, you know, profiled as, these people who just are just ruthless murderers. You know, there are pe- there are police that have done really bad things, but there is also the police who take their job, you know, seriously, which is also a large number of them, too. So, I mean, I mean th- they're protecting people they don't even know. Complete strangers. Absolutely. And they're doing that for us. They're protecting us. They, th- a cop could show up, and if I was in trouble they would put their life on the line just to save me or save you or save anybody. And that that in itself is, it's so selfless. It's so, it's it's just amazing. And and I don't even think a lot of us respect that. We, we peg cops to be people or like terrible people who, oh, I pay your tax, I pay your paycheck with our tax money. Oh, yeah, you, you're just a, a con, like a pig. You're just terrible. And 
they deal with it. And even though we talk trash to them, if we were in trouble after saying something like that, they wouldn't have any problem protecting us and saving and, and putting their life on the line. Absolutely. I mean, on this uh, website, there are paid. There is a page like of a ton of stories where cops are just doing fun things or helping out people in need. It's 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 just amazing. Like police give free hugs at Walmart. I mean, they don't have to do things like that. I'm and just down in the pictures I just saw these now. It was pretty nice. Yeah. That. that was awesome. Okay. Officer responding to shoplifting call by single dad baby formula. See? Awesome. See, that's, that's, that's awesome. Because cops have... They, they can arrest you and take you to jail over anything. You can get a, you can get pulled over for a ticket. And if they wanted to, it's a, if it's with their discretion, they can just say... Hey, you're gonna. I'm pulling you over, and now you're gonna go to jail because I want. You, I'm gonna take you to jail. But instead, they give tickets, or they might give you a warning, or they can choose to do those types of things with most low-level crimes like speeding and and things like that. They don't have. Like if you, you know, they are human beings, and if you treat them with respect, they're gonna tra treat you with respect. Absolutely. I, I just wanted to get that story in there at least, um, awesome. just to lighten up the mood. Yeah, we don't always want to talk about people dying. Or yeah, abs absolutely. I mean, it needs to be known. It like it needs to be known. It needs to be shown. It needs to. It needs to. We need to be aware of it. Right. But sometimes you just want to look at something that makes you happy. Absolutely. Mhm. Mm well. I think that that's we're gonna wrap it up. I'm. I hope you could take me seriously, even though I'm wearing this snowman shirt and whatnot. But yeah, I've been Sean, and this is Miguel, the Gray Area. <laughs>